Okay, kids, here's a quick quiz. True or false? Man and dinosaurs once lived on planet Earth together. You can't fool me on this one. I saw Jurassic Park and the Flintstones. The answer is true. Good going. Of course humans and dinosaurs used to live together. There's a conspiracy of science teachers trying to make you believe otherwise. But the truth will win out thanks to great journalistic products like Lost Eden from Cryo and Virgin Interactive. This is one of the more bizarre stories I've ever seen about that distant time. Usually the men involved are primitive stupid caveman types with a big eyebrow ridge. I used to date a guy like that in the seventh grade. Well, anyway, the humans here are more or less civilized types who build great citadels and sell intelligent sauropods into slavery. At least until the big nasty bad guy, Morcus Rex, came along with his army of tyrannosaurs and ate everything in sight. Now the humans are on the run, and whatever connection they have with the good guy dinosaurs is all but gone. Surprise, surprise, this is where you come in. Yes, it's a job for Hero Man. You're a prince of the realm named Adam. Get it? Adam? Lost Eden? Get it? It is your job to restore the trust between the vegetarian dinosaurs and humans to defeat Morcus the Dorcas. So you're probably looking at these graphics and you're thinking, Yowza! That's gorgeous! And I have to agree. This is a stunning looking product. That won't surprise anyone who's familiar with other cryo products like Dragon Lore and Commander Blood. Lots of impressive cameras swooping and rendered dinos that move realistically. It's intensely cool looking. Yep. Can't beat the visuals, by golly. There's just one problem. You mean the way the actual gameplay taxes your mind about as much as ordering a cheeseburger? Well, that's one way of putting it. Maybe this game is more intended for kids or for inexperienced players, but anyone with the slightest bit of experience with computer adventure games will find Lost Eden to be almost insultingly simple. Could have used some difficulty settings, that's for sure. The puzzles are the most basic things you've ever seen, and if they aren't easy enough for you, you're forced to endure lots of hand-holding hints from your companions. That's right, forced. Some major hit-you-over-the-head obvious hints are included as part of the main dialogue. It's funny, you just used the word dialogue as though your character was ever allowed to get a word in edgewise. Good point. Adam is the quietest hero this side of Clint Eastwood. You don't talk to people, you give them a chance to talk at you. They talk at you for a while, then they stop, meaning you should click the mouse, then they start talking again. Apparently the clicking of the mouse translates into Adam either nodding his head or saying something encouraging like, mm-hmm, or go on. It saves you that awkward dialogue decision process, just like in real life. To be fair, the game does get marginally more difficult and interesting once you get into the so-called strategy portion of the game. Of course, it's probably a good idea for a company to put the better part of a game up front so players won't stop playing before they get to it, but that's just me talking. You have to travel around your kingdom convincing the dinosaurs around that they should help you build citadels against the invading tyrannosaurs and that you are not planning to sell them to the lowest bidder afterwards. This involves such important points of strategy as figuring out which dinosaurs like apples, which are partial to mushrooms, which would really like a few gold nuggets, bird nests, or whatever you got really. Then you give them what they want, and they help you. And you try not to get eaten by the bad guys. That's the strategy. Having established that this game will not exactly serve as a replacement for the morning cup of coffee, it's interesting that Cryo decided to use a nice, relaxing, eco-friendly, world-beat, new-age soundtrack as the background. Keep in mind, we are not making fun of the music. Any of the segments here could probably have made tons of money as the latest Enigma release. But it does tend to mellow you right into the frigging ground. There is such a thing as being too relaxed, especially when you're trying to keep your mind on a game. Well, good thing it's so easy to play then. The good news is that this simplicity also extends to the interface. Which is where it should always be in the first place. You've got this cool rolling cube as a mouse cursor. As you move it across a part of the screen, an icon appears on the cube's faces telling you what you can do. Then you click to do it. Now if only they would have developed an actual game to implement this interface with. Whether you like Lost Eden or not really depends on what you're looking for. If you want something pretty on your screen, you won't find much prettier than this smooth and exotic, it's got an unusual storyline, it's very, very easy to play. On the other hand, if you were hoping for something with even a modicum of challenge for someone above the age of 12, there's got to be somewhere else you can go. This game will not drive you crazy, it will put you to sleep. What a ringing endorsement. 
Having trouble with insomnia? Play Lost Eden.